I haven't actually looked at that, how you can play some tag, ma tag maps in sections, like, um, for instance, have they forgot to turn the lights on here or something? It feels a lot darker than normal. What time is it? Oops. Normally when I'm, when you're here. Is it not normally this dark? But, for a fun residential zone, for instance, you can also go to in sections and Tiger Stag, from what I hear. Can't speak from experience, personally. Are they playing online at all? Oh my god, what am I doing? Yeah, I cannot see much here. I set the time to, to 1 in the morning. Well, this part looks fine. Duh. Those warrants are awkward enough in the original JSRF here. It's, they're just untenable. I don't remember hitting my head on that highway up there before. The original JSRF. I do know you jump higher here. Well, I wasn't trying to boost dash there, but thank you. I'll just slow myself down a bit with that. I got something on here. And then we lost it. That's probably the issue. You don't really stay the same height the whole time, which... Okay, I'll take it. Which I believe was also the case in the Jair's Rough, as painful as it was. Feels death-defying doing that. And last lap. I'm getting ahead of myself. Come on. Do your tricks. It's odd, kind of odd how the lighting seems to be very so much in different spots here. I guess it's just the shadows being cast by other buildings or something? Since we have dynamic lighting everywhere in this game now? It's probably faster to do that. So nervous. Ah, I don't know if it bugged out and made me do a. Uh, I don't know if it bugged out and made me do a wall ride when I was shuffling, or if my controller messed up and made me jump. Either way, that's another place done. Write that down real quick, and we're gonna do something a little bit different now. Just uh keep things from getting stale. And though we have a lot of jet graffiti to do after this. One, two, three, four, five, five jet graffiti to do after this. Brand. I wanna play as someone else, and by that I mean I wanna play as the noise tanks. The other characters that'd be cool to play as too, like Entry 2000 is always fun. And I can also play as my main man, old man Yo-Yo of course. Actually, I should take a look at least, actually at you got 3,000. Let's see what, how he compares to Yeeha Yo Yo. Not for any serious purpose. I don't have a hat or anything. No, nothing fancy. It feels really wrong taking the hood off of ND 3000 for me, though. His skin must be more blue. Unless this game just handles color really differently, which I know it does handle it a bit differently. Your Yeehaw 3000 would have a little bit more Yeehaw in his appearance, though, like Yo Yo does. But since we're here, we have the luxury of changing characters right here, so let's just do that. I like how they added birds to the garage, by the way. I don't know why they weren't here before. The garage is oddly lifeless. And just rough. Should probably get that pit in my garage thing at some point. Or do stuff with my Tokyo tokens, that is. 
Maybe get some more skins, actually. I don't know, for instance, the... There's this skin, which is apparently very, very interesting. I actually did see a picture of this. Yeah, it's rather peculiar. So I should look at those at some point. And I think all the unlockable or the buyable cosmetics are all um, custom made too. Okay. Something feels so weird and almost wrong about being here. Oh, I can't wait for night, can I? Uh, being in the garage, that's a classic noise tank. I can't wait for night anymore though, I don't think. I do want to go around at night. Darn it! Okay, wait a minute. I'm actually going to leave and come back. Unfortunately, that ended up getting... That little feature ended up getting lost when the dynamic day-night cycle was added. But oh well. Alright, free mode. And... Nighttime, please. That let's start some around. It's not too late. Eight o'clock. Is partly cloudy going most of these stages have by default of curiosity? I'm not sure. Feels like we ought to be noise tanks if. Or feels like I ought to be out at night if we're gonna be the noise tanks. So what am I doing? Well, there's at least one place that we haven't done stuff in yet, for some reason. I don't even know why. It's a place that I like. Uh, I do think there's 99th Street as well, actually. So some stuff to do there. But we also haven't done much of anything in Dungeon Like, I actually don't think we've done anything here. Oh, hello. That was awkward. It's nice working to work somewhere when you enter an area like that. Again, this feels so weird and almost wrong, being here as a noise tank in Dozaka. And sh shuffling as a noise tank, but... Here we are. Night on the town. With the noise tanks. Oops. Okay. Okay, so do they, are the animations redone too? For, I mean, of course, like Flying Kite and the tricks and whatnot, but are the movement animations also redone from the original JSRF? Or original just the radio, I mean. I like to imitate it? Can't quite tell. I guess the thing is, I won't be surprised, and it would make perfect sense, I think, if they just made. Hello. If they just made. Into, or the classic noise tanks have the same skating animations as noise tanks in Roboy in this game. I'm gonna have to go through here twice because I didn't bother getting the mystery tape. Whoops. I will have had to go backwards to get the mystery tape. Tape. Oh well. I don't complain. I do like Noah's Like a Hill. I, it's, I don't really adore it or anything. I never had any issue with it. It's a nice, friendly place. It's a nice introduction to the game. It's not my first place to, or my first choice for running around and having fun, I guess. But I don't consider it boring or anything either. I think I just consider it like safe and straightforward, such as how linear it is, because I tend not to. I think what is the place to go if I want to have some excitement in my life. It's not the most useful shovel. Hey! Especially I, with how you need to keep in mind that in this game, you go up slopes a lot more easily. I don't think that's a particularly bad change. Ooh, is this going to be as annoying as it is in the original JSRF? Right here, 
This might be the X360 uh, specific thing, because on 360 for some reason, tagging some tags is a little bit more tough. No? That one, for some reason, there was a tendency for you to spray the second spot first instead of the first one. Which would... Let me just go right on up here. Which was a real pain. Also, I do find it kind of weird that the extra large is purple in this instead of dark blue. I think it's better that it's more distinguished, though, so I guess I won't complain. Okay. Ooh, this place actually looks surprisingly different and interesting at night. I didn't think that would be the case. So that's the graffiti, Don. So we're going to need to get some stuff appearing now, which I imagine should be fairly straightforward. I remember back in the original dresser app, you could get all of the graffiti souls to appear just on this one stretch here. Now I haven't gotten any of them to appear apparently. What are the challenges here? Grand combo 20. Air combo 5, that's actually not as bad as it sounds because there's some pretty dumb spots here. You can take Fall Damage and Tongan's Lock if you really try. Curious where you get that big of a grind combo without just being, um, cheaty about it. You want to try to do it kind of legitimately? That's how that's unfortunate. Just because there's probably some place. And now I have a hard time being on rail after how much grief I've had with accidentally grinding things in this game. Ow! I guess if you just go slowly up this one, and by slowly I mean not like being cheaty about it by holding back on the stick, but just. You guess I'll start. Ah. Where are there longer reels here, though? I don't feel like there are any longer reels here in Domenzaco. There aren't any long reels to begin with. How the heck? What is happening? <laughs> well, I don't want to grind things. I have such a hard time not grinding things. Ah. I'm trying to be fast now. I'm not used to doing tricks as quickly as possible in this game. For reasons I've explained in earlier episodes. Ah. I can do it. I don't know where else you would do it. I'm just trying to be honest about it instead of doing the exploit that should probably get fixed at some point. This is gonna take it way too fast though. Yeah. I can just do this. It's not easy if I start slower, of course. Um, I feel like my combo should have ended. I really think my combo should have ended at some point then. I don't know why it didn't. Also, which challenges did I just complete? I did not get the Drake score. Um, is there any, any spot that's particularly good for getting a high trick score here? Other than just this, this big thing here? Oh, huh. They do, uh... If you do rotation tricks, they do... I guess that was the point. Oh, well, it's with yourself. You're in the, right in the middle of traffic. Um, that was not an air combo times five. Okay. But if you do Y tricks, so to speak. Oh, look at those light rays. 
in the air with, with the noise tanks, probably with classic characters in general. Darn it! I was trying to jump. It's a little hard to see the ends of the rails though with the cans in the way. You just do the JS Rap tricks since tricks like that don't exist in Original Jet Set Radio. So, so close. I don't know if you can make the jump to the next rail there in JS Rap and be. If I boost dashed, I probably could, I guess. There's no JSRF, I'm pretty certain you could. That's probably another reason I didn't pay much attention to Doing Zaka, I guess, even though I thought it was kind of nice. He had some things like, with just being the first level, I guess, he had some things like this here where. The three challenges and like were a little bit boring, considering how. It was all just a matter of some classic noise things boost that is also weird. The three challenges and whatnot were so straightforward to do and took so little time. And you would just you would just complete them all accidentally. Oh, so apparently for a while there was an exploit in Dress FMP. Where you could I think it was up here. Over there, you can jump to that portion up there or something like that, where those stairs are. I don't know how. But you could skip a decent portion of the, the track that way. Alright, though. Where are we on episode time? We're over time, actually. Darn it! Time goes so quickly in, in this game sometimes. I guess I'll get to the end of this area and then that'll be that. And we'll have Doom Riders then I think, or do you need Jet Rank in it here for Doom Riders? I'm not sure. We don't have anything here, do we? We might actually. Oh no we don't. There we go. Now we've got Doom Riders, or Doom Rider Singular if you prefer. As some apparently do. I'll see you guys next time in the next episode when you play as a Doom Rider. I can see the Lighting being a little weird there. I'll, I'll say something interesting about this section here, actually, in the next episode. Goodbye, everyone.